Well, hello there, beauties. I'm Bianca Renee, and today we have a very exciting makeup collection to try on for the very first time. And we have a very special guest, one of my closest friends. It's your line. Why do you get nervous every time I push record? Anyways, I'm Bianca Renee, and this is Brianna Shanae. I knew I had to bring her on the show today, or she'd be categorically gutted if she missed out on this makeup collab. And that's because I'll be trying on all this new makeup from the Pure and Barbie collab. First of all, this is one of the coolest PR boxes I have ever gotten. Like, Barbie on the front, Pure Barbie. Never lose your sparkle. I mean, I've always been a bling girl, as you can see. And this just, let me just show you what's inside. You open it and you see this and you're like, wow. This is amazing. But wait, there's more. You open up the sides <laughs> and it just keeps getting better. Top shelf we have, whoa, we're fine. So we have an eyeshadow palette, some contour, lashes. We have nail polish, blush, gloss. Sorry, Brianna, I'm kind of covering your face. We have some shimmer, skincare, brushes, mascara, more brushes, and more lipstick. Like, is this not amazing or what? So I've been cleaning out my room if you guys have been following me on Instagram and I came across this box and I realized I haven't opened anything yet. So I'm gonna try to use as much of the collection as I possibly can on my face today. Now the collection does not come with a foundation, concealer, primer, like your base kind of stuff. So I am gonna have to use some other products for that. I'm gonna do that real quickly. But I am gonna try to apply my foundation with this brush. So Brianna, darling, would you please hold that? Thank you very much. And let's try a new primer while we're here. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer with vitamin B, C, and E. I have been trying to use more vitamin C in my skincare, so to have it in my primer already is actually pretty clutch, so I hope that I like this. My skin's already moisturized from earlier. Mmm, smells like oranges. Love it, that real vitamin C. For my foundation, I'm gonna be using the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. This is a new black-owned brand sold at Sephora. Time for my brush, thank you, darling. Keepsake Kabuki brush. Hold on, let's see how cute this brush is. <gasps> brush I've ever seen. It has the little Barbie logo in the brush. So cute. Wow. I know I don't want to mess it up, but I have to put makeup on here. I'm going to put a couple pumps right on Barbie's head. Let's just... Oh. Super soft textured cruelty-free bristles that are designed to effortlessly deliver a lightweight pressure to buff and blend your foundation for the appearance of a flawless airbrushed finish. Foundation is complete. I'm really just not used to using a brush to apply my foundation, especially with a brush with this long of a bristle, but this is definitely the cutest brush that I've ever seen. You know what, let me go ahead and finish my face and I'll bring you back when we get to the Barbie stuff. Don't get an attitude, I'm gonna bring you right back. Just, just go over a little bit. For my concealer, I've been loving this one by Rare Beauty. I'll probably give you guys a full Rare Beauty video as well soon. Let me know if you want that. It has really good coverage. It's smooth and creamy and it's like the perfect shade for me. Now I'm gonna set my concealer using my Laura Mercier setting powder. This is translucent. apply some face powder and some contour I'm going to need some brushes Brianna darling can you pass me the brushes thank you so here is another super cute container pure and Barbie brush sparkle set look at that look at these brushes like what I might as well just throw away every other makeup brush that I own so I'm gonna apply the full spectrum covergirl matte ambition powder Aren't I giving you Bridgerton vibes? My friend sent me this thing on Instagram that said, figure out your Bridgerton name. It would be Lady, your first name, plus the last thing that you ate today. 
add ton to that word of the shoes that you're wearing or last wore. So today I would be Lady Bianca Cabbage Tin of Nike. Comment your Bridgerton name below. Ooh, this looks really good. Now I'm grabbing the same CoverGirl Full Spectrum in a darker color. This is the shade Deep Cool. You can use this brush for your contour, highlight, or blush. I chose contour today. Cute, we're getting somewhere. Okay, now let's get back into some more Barbie makeup. This is the Pure and Barbie Malibu Blush Six Piece Blush Palette. The colors are Wish, Sweet Dreams, Malibu, Believe, California Dreams, and Boss. I think I'm gonna go with California Dreams being a Cali girl. I mean, it only makes sense. Whoa, that is pigmented. <laughs> Cute, rosy cheeks. Now let's get these brows popping. There isn't a brow pencil, so I'm gonna use this one by Huda Beauty. It's their super fine tip brow pencil that I've been using. Like, look at that. How teeny tiny that is perfect for hair like strokes let's start playing with the endless possibilities 2 signature 15 piece eyeshadow palette so I'm gonna grab my beautiful brushes I'm probably gonna go with like a lighter pinky vibe to stick with the whole Barbie pink theme I mean I'm no makeup artist I'm just lady Bianca cabbage tin of Nike so I'm gonna start off with my base with this kind of like brownish pinkish color called career doll Ooh. Okay, some nice pigmentation. Let me do this with the bow on the outside. Now I'm grabbing Trendsetter to add some pink on top. Now I'm gonna grab the darkest pink, which I think is called Dream Doll, and just kind of pop this in the corners, just to give it a little dimension. If this isn't dark enough, I might dab a little bit of this purpley one called Imagination. And now I'm grabbing Icon to put in the very centers of my eye. So these colors are very pigmented. I think that the lightest pink is probably the faintest one, kind of hard to see. But overall, this palette does have a lot of really beautiful colors to choose from. I recently got some new eyeliner from Too Faced. This is their Killer chocolate or killer black. I usually do black, but let's switch it up. Let's see what a chocolate liner looks like. Killer precision waterproof gel eyeliner that glides on and lasts for 36 hours. Wow. Oh, I think I like it. Now back to the Barbie and Pure, we have their Magical Eyes Signature Mascara and Primer. So first we prime the lashes with the primer. Gave them some length, it has a little bit of a white tint to it. Mascara primer powered by magnetic technology. That seems to be the common theme this year is this magnetic technology. Ooh, okay that second round really gave me some length. So don't be afraid to double dip. Okay, I don't know if you, oh yeah you could see it on camera, look at that. There's some length there. Now let's go on top, let's just do one eye at a time, with the fully charged mascara. Wow, that looks really good. Look how pretty. Before, after. So this mascara is fabulous. I will definitely be using this on its own, but because this also came with lashes, we gotta try the lashes. So these are the Barbie Doll Lash Signature Cruelty Free Pro Eyelash Collection. There's two pairs and it even came with some eyelash glue. So one is Malibu Lash, which is a little bit more chill. And then there's Hollywood Lash, which is the more fuller option. Let's go with the not, not as dramatic one. Cause I mean, I'm already wearing a crown. So when putting on lashes, the first thing you want to do is to see how long they are. And these are kind of like falling off to the side, which is going to make your eye look droopy. So I'm going to cut these to make them a little bit shorter to fit my eye. These Malibu lashes are fabulous. Time for some confident glow. Ooh, it has two highlight colors in here, the pink taffy rose gold shade and then bubbly, the champagne shade. I think I'm gonna go with the bubbly champagne. Okay, 
Okay, what do we have left? Lips, we have lipsticks and lip gloss. Let's use both. Oh my goodness. The packaging is insane and I'm such a sucker for packaging. The camera doesn't do it justice. How do you open it? Come out. Oh, okay. Torpedo launcher, good to know. Okay, let's try that again. It even says Pure and Barbie once you open it. Ooh, it's the detail on the lipstick for me. How much time does that take to actually print names on each individual lipstick? Gorgeous colors too. So we have Trailblazer, Innovator, and CEO, that boss red. This red looks gorgeous, but I'm not exactly in a red outfit today. So it's going to be between these two. Hmm. 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 Let's go with the darker one. Let's go with Innovator. It's not exactly creamy. So either it's a little dry or I need some chapstick first because my lips are dry. But I do love the color. It does give you a beautiful matte finish. Can't wait to try the other colors. Although I love and usually prefer a matte finish, I wanna try as many Barbie products as possible, so let's add on some gloss. Looks like we have a clear gold or a shimmer pink. Let's see what the pink one looks like on top of this pink color. Oh, another button. Oh, look at this. You push this button and it releases it. And of course, it has sparkles. I mean, it wouldn't be a Barbie collab without sparkles. It smells really good too. It smells like sweet candy. What do we think? I think I keep forgetting that this isn't like cheap Barbie makeup that comes with the Barbie. This is a legit collab with a real makeup brand. <laughs> okay, do I have anything left to try? Two more things. The Pure Barbie Lit Mist Signature Illuminating Setting Spray. No way. Look at this setting spray. <laughs> Have you ever seen a cuter setting spray in your entire life? Even if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be pouring all of my setting sprays into this cute little bottle. It's a little practice run before I spray it all over my face. Oh, there we go. Twist the knob. Here we go. Yes, darling, I'll be there in a second, just putting on my final touches. It has a very like rose scent to it, and it's not too like squirt gun in your face either. Exclusive limited edition setting spray, instant hydration, locks in your makeup for an all day performance. Oh, shake well before use. Spray two or three pumps. This is why you read things before you try them. And the last two things in the collection is actually a little skincare essential, so I won't be able to do that step today. But there's also some body shimmer. Forever Glow Signature Illuminating Scented Body Powder with the Applicator Puff. Oh, you guys, look at this cute little puff. We'll give it a little shake, drop in my little puff, and then let's shimmer. Ooh! Oh yeah, <coughs> very powdery. Yes, Shimmer. I'm sure this would look even more fabulous in the sunlight. Oh, sorry, you scared me. I forgot to bring you back, didn't I? That's my bad, but you're just in time for some body shimmer. Okay, let's see, let me know what you think of this color. I'm just gonna add a little bit of, oh, that's a lot. See, I just wanted to bring you in for the good part. Look, now you, you got some body shimmer too. Look at you, girl. I see you, you shining, you shining, girl. Now we're totally twinsies. This color actually looks even better on your skin tone, not gonna lie. So those are all of the items in the Pure and Barbie collab. Thank you so much, Pure, for sending me this awesome package. When it arrived and I saw the word Barbie, I was just so excited because I've always played with Barbies growing up as a little girl. I had a duffel bag 
full of Barbies. So this is just like really nostalgic for me. I'm really excited to be getting back into makeup once again. I am no professional, but I am someone that just likes to experiment with new products and have some fun. So if you enjoy this channel, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. I'm gonna be posting makeup videos on either Wednesdays or Fridays, and then I post curly hair videos on Sunday. So I actually haven't even done my hair yet. I just threw it up in a bun and threw on a crown. I have learned that putting on a crown kind of hides the postpartum uh, bangs that I have going on. So I just might have to wear this crown in the remainder of my videos. I'm actually now going to wet my hair and style it using the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard Styling Gel. This is a fan favorite for anyone with curly hair. I know I'm late to the game, but I've actually never tried it. So I'm gonna try it for the first time. If you wanna see how this works on my hair, or maybe you've seen it in the stores and you've been curious, come back on Sunday to see my full review of this gel. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Look, I said I'm sorry. I did not mean to leave you out of the video. I just started trying on all the products. I got really excited. I mean, did you see that setting spray? Actually, where did my cute little lipsticks go? I, mean, I don't see them. Do you know where they are? You don't, I'm, I'm not accusing you. I just, why did you take them? Okay, you're going a little ham with the body shimmer. I mean, you already have on a sparkly top. Let's not overdo it now. Your hair looks really cute today, by the way. What did you use? See, I told you to stop using silicone. You got enough plastic going on.